Jose Mourinho and Paul Pogba's relationship at Manchester United has been such a big talking point for Man United fans. We covered it in detail as well. We looked at the full story between Pogba and Mourinho right from when Pogba was re-signed to the club by Mourinho. If you haven't seen that video, there's a link in the corner there. You can watch that one. And we also covered what happened after the Derby County game when Pogba and Mourinho were involved in a training ground bust up, all to do with an Instagram video. As I said, we covered that in full. There's a video in the link in the corner too. But now after the Southampton game, there has been another chapter added to this quite frankly embarrassing saga for Manchester United as a football club. Now before we get into the video, if you are new to United People's TV, make sure you hit that subscribe button down in the corner. Join the United People's TV community. Loads of Reds involved here, so make sure you get involved. But this is what has happened now between Pogba and Mourinho, according to reports from Duncan Castles. Now, as I said, this is coming from Duncan Castles in the Daily Record. He reports that in a post-match dressing room shakedown, Mourinho labelled Paul Pogba a virus in front of the whole team and then said this to him as well. You don't play, you don't respect players and supporters and you kill the mentality of the good, honest people around you. A pretty serious thing for Mourinho to say about Pogba, certainly in front of other players. And there have been other reports about these comments too. The main one comes from The Telegraph. Now, interestingly, with The Telegraph's report, there's no byline. It's not written by, you know, James Ducker or, or Jason Burt. It's just written by Telegraph Sport. So no journalist has put his name to it. But they're following with very similar quotes to what Duncan Castles is saying. But they also follow it up with something a little bit more detailed. Now the quotes in the Telegraph say, you don't play, you don't respect players and supporters and you kill the mentality of the good, honest people around you. You are like a person with a flu, with a virus in a closed room. You pass that virus on to others. It's a messy situation, isn't it? Right now with Man United drawing against Crystal Palace, drawing against Southampton, apparently the last straw for Southampton seeing as Mark Hughes has been sacked since, but it's a messy situation on the pitch. So the last thing we need is stuff like this happening behind the scenes as well, but that's the situation United fans find themselves in. But there are a few points to make about this. Duncan Castles, we all know who Duncan Castles is. He was the mouthpiece of Jose Mourinho at Chelsea. He's also close with his agent too. So Castles does have access to Mourinho, but who would a dressing room source be for Duncan Castles? Because things like this, if they happen, they shouldn't ever come out of the dressing room. Whether you agree with Mourinho for doing it, or disagree with Mourinho for doing it. One thing that should never happen, it should never come out into the public. That is a worrying concern. It's, it's existed at the club ever since David Moyes was in charge, really. You know, there was a time when David McDonald from the Mirror, he had the team news every single week. No one knew who the leak was, but there was a mole inside that dressing room giving the news to David McDonald every single week. So it's happened before at United, and it really wouldn't surprise me if it's happening again now with everything that's going on with Jose Mourinho. But what should we make, as fans, what should we make of these stories? I want to try and take my red tinted specs off for a little bit and try and be as objective as possible in terms of looking at, at Paul Pogba and Jose Mourinho and trying to decipher who is to blame for everything that's going on at the moment between the two. And I'll start with Paul Pogba. We'll move on to Jose Mourinho after. Paul Pogba, he was woeful against Southampton. I mean properly woeful, not just like a slightly poor performance where he didn't play too well. It was the sort of performance where if you played like that in the Sunday league, you'd even get substituted in a Sunday league game. And the issue with Pogba is that he's done that too often this season, where he just lets games pass him by, Man United underperform. Man United perform when Pogba performs. Look at the Newcastle game, when he ended up playing as like an auxiliary centre-back, spearheaded that 2-0 down to 3-2 victory. Man City away last season, 2-0 down to 3-2, all because of Paul Pogba. When he controls the game, Man United control the football. When he doesn't, Man United don't. And fans have every right to be frustrated about what we saw from Paul Pogba against Southampton because it was a despicable performance. Lost possession countless, countless times, more than 10 times, I think. And it's not just how he loses possession, it's his attitude straight after. Doesn't run like Rashford does to get the ball back. A bit lackadaisical. So fans do have every right to be frustrated. But to call Paul Pogba a virus in front of his other teammates in a dressing room, I'm sort of failing to see how that would resolve any sort of situation between Pogba and Mourinho. 
But Mourinho has always been that sort of manager. Very forceful, very direct, very harsh in what he's saying, and sometimes in public too. But it doesn't work with every single player. And quite clearly, that style of management does not work with Paul Pogba. And so we move on to talk about Jose Mourinho in this situation. Now, the first thing I want to say is that I feel Mourinho is completely at fault for letting this situation continue as long as it has continued. Now, at the start of the season, Mourinho offered Pogba an olive branch when he gave him the captaincy against Leicester. Pogba threw that back in his face. Pogba's certainly at fault there. But Mourinho should have continued and tried to get more out of Paul Pogba to patch up that relationship because it's his job as a manager to manage the individuals. It's not up to Paul Pogba to manage his relationship with Mourinho and everyone else. It's up to Mourinho to manage from the top down. And he certainly hasn't done that with Paul Pogba in any way, shape or form. Man management is about catering for the individual. Fergie, what, what worked with, say, David Beckham, or didn't work with David Beckham, or what worked with Wayne Rooney, wouldn't have worked with Paul Scholes or Ryan Giggs or Phil Neville. You have to cater for the individual. And Mourinho has got a very much a blanket style of management. It's my way or the highway. That's why he's fallen out with so many players in the past. As if he continues his career, that's why he'll fall out with players in the future too. But it's why it's not worked out with Paul Pogba. Because it doesn't work with Pogba. And Mourinho has failed to adapt his management style to get the best out of Pogba. He's just let the situation continue. And the worrying thing for United fans here, with, in terms of Mourinho anyway, is we've seen this from Mourinho before. Now, if Paul Pogba is the virus at Manchester United, does that mean Eden Hazard was the virus at Chelsea when Mourinho was in charge? Or the likes of Iker Casillas at Real Madrid? Was he the virus when Jose Mourinho was in charge of Real Madrid? Or is Mourinho the virus? Is Mourinho the link, the common denominator between all these fallouts? Is Mourinho the reason that these fallouts happen? There's certainly an argument for that. And I know a lot of you do think that. And something I really want to talk about here in terms of Pogba being criticised by Mourinho. How has Pogba been criticised so often by Mourinho when Nemanja Matic, a player who, let's put it bluntly, has been shit all season long has not had one bad word said against him by Jose Mourinho. And it's this lack of, of parity between players. What works for one doesn't work for the other. That's why it's hard to sort of back Mourinho in these sort of situations. Because Popper deserved criticism after that Southampton game. So did every other United player, Matic included. But Matic gets away scots free and Popper is the one in the limelight. I don't like that. If you're going to criticise one, criticise the other when they both made the same mistake. And that has always been an issue with Jose Mourinho. For me now, you're looking at Mourinho at United, everything that's gone on. Then he had the Crystal Palace game, then he had the Southampton game. It does feel like Mourinho is just creeping towards the exit. And that his sacking is now inevitable. But what's your take on this latest Pogba and Mourinho situation? Who would you support in this situation? Do you think Mourinho is right to criticise Pogba after that Southampton performance? Or is he wrong in the way that he has done it? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to United People's TV. Take it easy.